got a quick fun review today. We are going to take a look at travel locks. These are gadgets you put on your hotel room door to make yourself a little more secure when you travel. I don't know about guys, but as a woman traveling alone and abroad, I found on more than one occasion, I'd get broken up to the sound of people quietly trying the door handle during the night and without even trying a key card first. So it's not just they like they have the wrong room. I don't know what's up with that, but better safe than sorry. So I started traveling with a small bag of extra locks that attach to the door in various ways. In this video, my girlfriend Kaidi and I are going to test them out. Now, there are many ways to bypass both the key card and the swing bar latch used on most hotel doors. So we're going to do our test, assuming those have already been bypassed. Links to how that's commonly done are in the description box. Now, a quick note, this video was shot while Kaidi and I were in Xinjiang. We were there so Kaidi could introduce me to her family. She's Uyghur and her family is still a bit iffy on the LGBT thing, so that's why I'm dressed much more conservatively than usual in this video. I was trying to make a good impression that day. Please understand, I don't have any sort of permission to run this channel and certainly no permission to discuss the situation in Xinjiang. Please don't give me a hard time or focus on this in the comments. YouTube has a number of videos from foreign vloggers who visited the area with official support. I'm sure they can discuss what I can't. I have more videos coming up that were shot in that, on that trip. Thank you for understanding the delicacy of my position and not doing anything to make Kaidi and my situation more difficult. As always, all my videos are subtitled. Kaidi and I are speaking Chinese here, but just click the CC button for the translation and you're good to go. All that said, let's see if these locks are any good. Wow, Oh, this one is no good. It's so fast. What, what the heck? Wow, this is the one Oh, this one is not good either. Okay, now I'm going to put that high. Look at that. Okay, these two. Uh, this one and this one is not strong enough. But this one is a good one. Oh, 
this one is no good. This one is bit deeper so easily. your mind out of the gutter. We just had a serious discussion about lock technology and destructive versus non-destructive entry techniques. You're no gentleman, you're not to talk of such things. I'm a good girl, I am, and I know what the likes of you are, I do. Okay, the first takeaway from all this, not a whole lot will hold up for more than a few seconds to someone who really puts some effort in. Heidi is only about 55 kilos or 120 pounds. If it was a full grown dude, I don't even want to think about it. Travel locks probably won't buy you absolute security from a determined intruder who has bypassed the other locking mechanisms. But they do buy you time and with a good one, it becomes impossible to break in quietly. That's certainly better than nothing. Second point. The effectiveness of this sort of locks is entirely dependent on latch shape and flooring. The ones that hook into the latch can be pretty good, but they can also just fall off and do nothing if the latch has a slightly different shape. Likewise, any kind of friction-based door store, what kind of carpet does the room have, is it slippery, what about tile, what Ever is made out of. Wedges seem the least effective. My conclusions, pretty much what you saw. I travel with three locks and I use as many of them as I can depending on how the hotel is set up. I have not seen a single product that will work reliably in most situations. You are going to want a few. Use them in parallel if possible and only count on them buying you some time. So, what can you do if these just buy you time? Well, I use a camera pointy at the door that uploads a clear image of anyone who walks in the room to my server. That kind of setup gives me a little negotiating power at least. If you'd like me to do a video on how to set it up, leave a comment. Until next time, remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it. <laughs>